Well, employees at one local brewery, they rely on their jobs not only for a paycheck. It's a sense of pride and a first job for many of them. 80% of the employees at Brewability are disabled, and they're temporarily out of work. Liz Gillardi shows us how you can still help support their mission. So we have a strawberry blonde, that's our most popular. We have a ginger lime saison. Tiffany Fixter is proud of their beer, but she lights up when she talks about Brewability's mission. I wanted to make sure that um, adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities had a, a job um, that had social interaction. So that's why we chose a brewery. The brewery is usually filled with customers and Tiffany says they love interacting with her staff. That's why it's so sad to see it empty. She had to send her staff home. Many are high risk and immunocompromised. So we employ people with autism, Down syndrome, CP, deaf, blind, um, people with severe medical needs. One of those employees is Avery Becker. It stinks uh, not being able to go to work, especially for us like with disabilities who haven't had jobs before and like this is our first job. Avery understands why he can't work right now, but it's difficult for other employees to comprehend the coronavirus crisis. We're just waiting until it's safe for them to come back to work, but it is really hard to explain that to them. Um, because they keep calling and texting, I'm not sick, boss. Even though the tap room seating is closed, Brewability is still selling beer to go. Disabled employees are also designing gift cards and T-shirts that will be available for purchase online. Well, it's very important that uh, we try to generate as much revenue as we can during this time uh, to first off sustain the business so there's something for our employees to come back to after this is passed because it's more than a job. When I go to work, it reassures me that like it's okay to or that I don't have to be ashamed of my disability and there's like other people around with disabilities and they understand. And staff members like Avery are waiting, hoping they can go back to work soon. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.